What's up guys? Welcome back to Oda Treasure. I'm Steven. Going to do something a little bit different in this video. I'm going to try this for the first time. Try and react and give you my initial first impressions of this 80s powerhouse classic fragrance for men, Bijan Men or Bijan for Men. I've never tried this before. I've only heard about it. I've read the reviews. This is a new bottle of it. I don't have a vintage bottle, but I don't know how different it is. This one is, I guess, just fresher because it's new. Haven't cracked it open yet. Got this in a Fragrance X haul. I made a video about my Fragrance X haul from last year. So I got this thing like six or seven months ago. I just haven't found the time to open it up. And I want to open it up. This is it. This is the time I want to try this thing out. I heard that this is just like, I'm hoping that this is like an FU fragrance, meaning this thing is so strong, so harsh that nobody likes it except for me. That's what I'm hoping for with this. Looked it up on Fragrantica. It just has a ton of notes, guys. I counted exactly 30 notes in this thing. It's got everything, uh, almost everything you can imagine, except it doesn't have tobacco or incense but it has all the classic things that you'd expect in a man's perfume. It's got the musk, it's got the patchouli, it's got the lavender, it's got florals in it, top's got citruses, uh, it's got the oak moss. So let's get into it. Can't wait to try this thing out. Don't try this at home, kids. Like, I so expect to cut myself if I don't do this right. There we go. We got under the wrapper. All right, getting that wrapper off took a little bit longer than I wanted to. So this is just a 30 ml bottle. These are really cheap. This was maybe $6, five or six bucks on Fragrance X. And this is not what the original bottle looked more like a donut. It was like a ring with a hole in the middle. This is a shape like a bee. But I'm trying to figure out what this exactly is supposed to look like. It's it's not exactly like what is this part? Is this supposed to be like a face with a nose right there? It might be. And it has a built-in sprayer. This is a modern fragrance with a built-in sprayer. You gotta love it. All right, let me spray this hand right here. Let me see. I sprayed something a few hours ago. Actually, let me try this one because I sprayed something on both of them, but it was so long ago. You can barely smell anything here. I'll spray it on the uh, left side here. All right. I just gave myself about four blasts of this stuff. Let's zoom in on the star of the show. Bijan Men. Well, give me a moment here. I'm going to come back to the video after a few minutes, let this thing dry out and tell you what I think of it. All right, it's been a few minutes here and I have some opinions on this already. I was looking at the notes. This is one of the first ones I've seen that actually has musk in, it has musk twice. It has musk in the the top notes and in the base notes. And I can, it also has cloves. And I can get the clothes. If I, it's it, even though it has like 30 notes, I swear I can almost catch a little bit of each note inside this thing. It's a very complex fragrance in my mind. It is somewhat soapy. It's somewhat woody. It's somewhat green. It's like everything combined in one. But I'm a little disappointed in that this isn't the punch in the face that I expected. You know, this isn't Yves Saint Laurent Kouros. This isn't Ted Lapidus Por Homme. This is something like the, the same feeling I got when I first tried Bogart One Man Show. Like, I thought that would be a punch in the face. And really what it was was just kind of a soapy green fragrance. And that's what this is. It's just, just kind of feel like this is a soapy green fragrance. This is one that I would wear to bed at night after a shower or something like that. This isn't one that's just like, oh my goodness, everybody's going to hate it. It's not that bad. Yeah, you might get some grandfatherly vibes from this from people, but, you know, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I tried this out. And uh, so I can just give you my um, my opinion on it. And that's just my initial impression, you know, five or 10 minutes of wearing this. 
This is not a full wearing. I haven't worn this around for a few weeks and gotten some opinions on it, but I'm not going for that. This is just to give you my impression. Before this video, this was a mystery. Now it's not a mystery anymore. I'm gonna wear this a little bit more and see how I like it. And I do like it. It's just not the powerhouse that I was expecting. I, this isn't anything more than like a uh, Puig Corum. Just a few days ago, I made the video for Paco Rabanne Parom, and this isn't anything that's that much different than Paco Rabanne Parom, in my opinion. I don't have them right next to each other, but but I would put this up there. It is a fantastic fragrance, and if you want a uh, old school classic fragrance, guys and you're online and you're making an order on Fragrance X or some other stuff, why not throw this in there for five or six bucks? I think it's worth a try, and if you don't like it, just give it to a friend. So that's it for this one. Hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you like this content of me trying out this classic fragrance or other classic fragrances, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this fragrance, Bijan for men? Bijan or Bijan for men? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And subscribe if you haven't already. I usually don't do these types of videos where I'm just trying things out and giving you my impressions. I usually just show you the stuff that I'm buying because it's discontinued vintage, rare, or interesting. And this one is just a throwback. It's not a vintage bottle, but this is a vintage fragrance. And it's definitely an interesting fragrance. There's the bottom, 30 ml Bijan. All right, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.